Okay, so today we're going to be stuck with the uh, flip flop. That's a, not a chapter. This a real uh, chapter will be needed for your lab for digital fundamental. Okay, the last is the type of temporary started device. What the? <laughs> Just a minute. Want to make it bigger? Okay. That has two stable state. It's called bi stable. That means either zero or what? And it normally place in a category separate from that of the flip-flops. Last are similar to flip-flop because they are a bi-stable device that can reside in either up to state using a feedback or a random one. In which the output are connected back to the opposite input. The main difference between large and flip flop is in the method using for changing their state. Okay, the first large we're gonna add R, set and reset. A large is a tie up by stable logic divide, a multi vibrator, an active high input at R. Last is formed with two cross couple no gate. Okay, now you see that first thing they using all gate, then they get inverter here. That means the no gate. Okay, they get the input R mean reset, at mean set. And the output Q connect back into the input of another node. That take what they call a feedback. Feedback met, that means output going back to the input. Okay? And that what they call a active high input at a large. They given you the circuitry inside. And that is a symbol, okay? A symbol here, you can say add means set, I mean reset, and you get output Q, output not Q, okay? So this circuitry basically inside this box here. And now, you can see at in here they have a no bubble. That means they active high. What that means for active high? You need a one there. Okay, so now let's see. Good oh, wait for me. Good. I need to turn it to my iPad.
Just a minute, okay? Okay, I stop there on this guy. Okay, so now you can see that. Yes. Okay, man. Now, this is the using the nugget. If you get the A here, B here, what equation? They will be equal. A or B, not, they will be equal, not A and not B, the Morgan law. Okay, so now when we say set, What that mean? Q equal to what? Okay. When you say reset, Q equal zero. 
be mad about that. Okay? So when set in here, you see no bubble. That means occupy. Okay? And that will be means. At equal to one, Q must be equal to one. And the same thing, the set here also, active high. Okay? That means if I equal to one, Q equal zero. If R is one, Q is zero. That means active. And now they can build by using the no gate, or they can build using the uh, name gate. For the name gate here, they say active low. Input at not are not large. Okay? So if you get a zero here, then Q must be what? Active low. That means zero you want to set. Also, reset active low. Zero here. And the output must be zero. So, that will be telling you this is the circuitry inside the, this one here. If you understand, by looking at the symbol here, if they given you the input, you're able to tell him what the output. Okay? Now. Mr. Pham, can you go back real quick? Okay. Just the way you have it drawn there uh, with the NAND gates, if R is zero, Q is zero, correct? So you have to be one. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're, thank you. Sorry. I don't, I confuse myself. Yeah. Thank you. The thing that you said you want to set, right? Right, right, right. Exactly. Set, but they get a bar over or the bubble. Means zero, you set. Okay? One, do not set. And now you can see on this one, active high. If you don't know, you can look into the two table. At R zero zero output will be no chain. What that means for no chain? It means Q will be what it was at on the previous clock transition. On the previous no, no chain mean whatever it was. Now we be the same whatever it was during the previous input conditions? Who cares? Yeah. I given you an example. If I get the uh, at zero, R1. Now tell me what Q, what not Q. Q is one, not Q is zero. If you yeah. don't know, you're looking in here. At zero, R1, Q0, not Q1, right? Let's see, at equal zero. Table says opposite. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, am I crazy? <laughs> I, I'm wrong. <laughs> at equal zero. R equal one. 
then for the table, you get Q0, not Q will be one. Q0, not Q will be one. Now, try to see. Q equal zero, they go back here, they will be zero. Zero, zero, they get a one. And one here, go back here. The one and one, you get zero. So that's correct. Okay? Now, if I want to change in something here, let's see, zero here, zero here. Okay, so zero here, and what you get out here? You don't know. The thing is you don't know the feedback here. And you're looking into the table. They say no chain. Now, what that mean for no chain? Before, they already zero. They already are one. Now, if you get a zero in, zero in here, I'll put still the same zero and another one, still one. That means no chain. Okay? Whatever it was, now will be the same. And then you need to know a little more for the flip flop. They talking about the present. Present step. And the night. Next step. Now, what that mean? What that mean a present step? I can give you the example here. Okay, now, I given you set equal one. R equal zero. What kill? One. Kill be equal to one. And not kill equal zero. Okay? When I try to apply R zero at equal to one, whatever coming out, that's what they call a present, present state. Okay? Now, what that mean for the next, next step? The next step means I'm going to change the input here. Whatever will happen at the output, that will be the next. So now you understand that when you apply input zero and one, then they coming out output will be one and zero. So they already coming out at the flip flop or the lot. That's what they call a, a present state. And now the next step mean what? That means I'm going to change. Okay, the input, whatever will be happen, that will be the night, that not ready. Okay, I given you example. Now I change it into uh, at zero. And R equal one. I'm not changed yet. Okay. However, if I can add equal zero R equal to one, whatever will be happen, they will be the next step. Okay? You think what going at the output that will be the next. And now 
if I'm looking into that, I can see, okay, Q zero, Q will be zero now, and S will be, uh, R will be one. See that? If you're changing zero to one, output will be changing from zero to one. And after they change it, now they will be a uh, prison. Okay? So try understand between the present state and the night state. Present state, that means the output already there. Night state means you are going to change. The input, whatever will be happen at the output, that's what we're talking about, the night. Okay? And you can uh, do for either one for this log uh, set and reset or man set or reset. And also they get the two table here. In order to get the input, then you need to uh, see for each input what is the output coming out from the two table. Now in the two table, we can get another one. You must be pay attention. That A, not allowed. What that mean not allowed? That mean for the input one and one, one here, one here, you're looking in the two table. They say not allowed. Who understand what that means? It means you cannot be in the state of set and reset at the same time. Q cannot be zero and one at the same time. Now, that means <laughs> when you're working with that type of the flip flop of the latch, cannot connect at and R to logic or work at the same time. That's why they're not working like a flip flop anymore or large anymore. Never connect at and R to both logic one for the no large. Same thing happened for the man. You can see at I equal one one. Okay, at uh, I equal zero, zero, they say not allowed. That means for the NAND large, you never connect at to zero and R to zero. Any question? Yeah, Mr. Pham, could you please uh, repeat uh, what does it mean the not allowed state? Not, not allow means if you're working with the NAND flip flop, you never connect this to zero and this to zero. At zero are zero. They say not allowed. The thing is, you connect okay. that way, they're not working like flip flop anymore. The reason is you get a zero and the NAND here, output have to be one. And the zero here, output have, output have to be one. Large output must be opposite. They cannot be the same. Q1 and not Q must be zero. Or not Q zero and Q must be one. Two output must be opposite. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, like same thing and on the NOR here, you can make a one here, you can make a one here, that make the both output to be zero and zero. Output of the large cannot be the same. Q zero, then not Q must be one. Or Q not Q equal zero, then Q must be one. They must be opposite. In order to do it, okay, now you can draw for me this output Q here. Try the best you think you can do. 
if the R and S and R waveform is so, apply to the input of the lot. That means apply to the main flip flop active flow. The terminal waveform that will be observed on the Q output. Assume Q is initially low. So I know for sure I can draw Q at the beginning. They said they supposed to be this is Q and they supposed to be zero. Let's assume Q initially will be low. Now you can draw the red for me. Okay, who can get through it? Okay, who can draw up to this point? No change, that's zero. Now, at equal zero, right? Yeah, at the first, at that point, Q equals one. Q equal to one. Looking into here. So they go into one. And they go up here. Okay. Yeah. Now the next one. Q goes to zero. They will be go to zero. Perfect. How about next one? Q goes back to one. They go back to one. And the next one. Zero. Right. And the next one. Still zero. Perfect. And the next one. One. Next. Still one. That's the correct answer. You try to see which one do not quite follow it. I said this chapter very, very important for technician and engineering. Whatever we done before, just a very basic thing. And make sure you must be get the download this hand out. Okay, the thing on this thing here, we have to draw it, we have to do it. It's not like in electronic. Okay, any question on that? If not, you do for me that one. 
draw the Q output wave form for a given at R. They given you the two table. And now you can draw it for me. At the beginning, what gale? Zero. Zero or one? It's zero. I thought it was one. One. At the beginning, R equal one. At equal zero. Looking to the table. It's zero. One. No. Zero. Q is zero. Right here, right? Everybody who said zero, raise your hand. Oh. I'm raising my hand. You cannot see. I'm raising my hand. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> now you will be zero. Yeah, I see it now. Try Kubi. Huh. Not here. <laughs> okay, for the night. Stays at zero. Still be zero. Zero. Goes to one after that. There you go one. to one. And then it stays at one. One. One here. Yeah. How about that? One again. One again. Perfect. Like one. One, one again. Oh. No, that was wrong. Zero. Zero. Zero, Good. yeah. Zero, zero. See now, Kumi, you get it. Good job, Kumi. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Night one. Zero again. Zero. So next one. 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 Next. One again. One again. Then to zero. Okay. Go to zero. Is it dry? Yes. To see this is a more much much easier than electronic. You don't have to do calculation. Only thing you know how to do what to do. Just ones and zeros. Yeah, just Ooh. one zero. Too easy. Game ball, you get 50 50, that lucky, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here it's not one and zero. So make sure. Everyone know how to do it. Our question just, just let me know. We'll try to help you to understand. Okay, now you get to another circuitry. That's what they call get at a lot. Okay, basically. Did control by enable. Okay. It enable. Equal to what? That means they working normal. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, what, what does it mean? Working normal means? Normal, that means man no, no. They working normal. Okay, got it. That means this part right here. That looks like we already done. Only thing they put a uh, uh, inverter in the back. Okay, if M able equal zero, then output no jam. If you get the add able equal zero, add and R can be changing, but the Q cannot be changing. Whatever it works will be the same. No change. Okay. Now you do on this one. Make sure they gave it to you. Initially, reset. That means Q equal zero. zero. So we draw Q no matter what. Q equal zero. The thing they, they said at the beginning, Q will be reset again. Reset mean Q equal zero. Set mean Q equal one. So now, who can draw this thing? Mr. Fan, could you please go back for a second to the previous slide? That one? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, ready. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, they want you to draw the output and they given you FI and enable. If you want to know the output, you're looking into the two tables. They say at the beginning, they reset. So that's why I draw for you, Q equal zero. And now who can draw the next for me? One. One, okay. One go up to where? R. For the second cycle. Where is one, up to enable one. One and they will be go up here. Then back to zero. Okay, now I try to explain to you. You only looking it to input S and R. When the enable E1, okay? At the enable E1, you get zero here. You get one here, okay? And you go into that one, okay? At one, R zero, Q equal to one. Okay, now, they will be equal to one. And the thing is right is this one right here. Enable equal zero. So you don't care. They one, they still must be one up to the next enable here. Okay? So at the enable here, you look up, you say, okay, I get a one here, I get a zero here. What kill? Zero. Q is zero. Zero. Okay, you don't know. Look into the table. 
still go to zero and they must go to the next enable here. Q is one. Okay. And then Q will be one. Okay, and then will be go. That's how they look like. Okay. Mr. Sam, I have, a, I have a question. Yeah. We are answering from the truth table, am I right? The value, the waveform for Q. So what's what's the use of this circuit diagram? What they can, use? We, can we do without circuit diagram also if we look on the truth table, am I right? Yeah, you don't care about it circuitry here. But you must be know that will be uh, the one we just show you. That will be get at a lot. This only the lot, not a get. The mm -hmm. get by adding two more men. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you draw it, it they not even do this logic circuitry inside then they must be given you this one, okay? Add, uh, and enable. Either they must be given to you, otherwise you don't know. Okay, got it. They Thank get three input at I and enable. And again, this two table here will be applied for this guy only. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the get the enable will be controlled. This lot. So you only count if the lot enable equal to one then you need to know what R equal, what F equal by looking into the table to decide what output equal. In here, they can change zero to one or one to zero, okay? Here, but doesn't matter. Output will be no change until you get a next enable equal to one. Okay, thank you. Hey, Mr. Fam, before you leave that one, um, can you do a uh, can you do one right underneath that uh, with the with the enable uh, switched around? Say in, instead of enable doing being one, enable a zero. What would that look like? What do you mean? If you changed if you changed enable, what 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 would the output look like? No, you. What do you mean you can? Can you redraw? Can you can you redraw the output when enable is is changed from what it is right now? Right here, enable here, right? Right, but now change it to uh, zero. Okay, yeah. What would the output look like if you change the en enable? When you change that enable output, no change. They want to be high right here. And they keep high until a next enable equal to one. Mr. Smith, one do, you mean if, do you mean if enable had like a different pulse pattern? Right, exactly. In other words, instead of being ones, make some of them uh, zeros. And, 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 and can, uh, so I can see what it looks like when it's not just all ones. You mean you want to make input or enable i want the enables i want you to change some of them around like vary them make some ones some of them zeros just yeah, they, they already can here one in here they can to zero right you see that okay one here now they can to zero okay but but what, what I'm, i was asking you to change the enables 
What you mean? Does it? somebody understand what I'm saying? Well, that is the enable wave pattern. If you change the one to zero, then there's no change. Oh. So therefore the pattern enable, whenever it's one, then you look at SNR. But if it's a zero, you ignore whatever is SNR and you just continue from the pre previous condition. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right, like, see see how every time that no, enables okay. spikes, that's where it changes? Maybe, okay. maybe Mr. Yep. Smith want to make it again right here. Right? Yeah, I, I was just wanting to see see, see how some of them, how, how it looked if uh, it wasn't all like that. Because a lot of times when you give these on these um, uh, lectures, they're, they're kind of like real simplistic. And then when you see some things in the lab, it, it's a little bit different. So, so that's why I was asking. Now, the basic name for this yet at R, okay? I said enable control. I'll put Q on that and not Q. And I already said enable equal to one. You can say what I add equal, what I equal. You want to know Q, you're looking in into the two table. And again, if you scroll back up one screen, Mr. Pham, I think you just had it written out that right there. If, if enable is one, it's working. If enable is zero, then the output is no change from what it was. Okay. And by working, it means. Hey, Mr. Fam, go back to that other screen real quick. Just real quick. Yeah, right there. Just hold on. Okay, got it. Okay, now you get into another get the lot. Now, D. Q. A equal D. Okay. When enable equal one. Okay. When enable equal zero. Q, no chain. That's a very simple, no formula. Okay, so if you get a D equal one, enable equal one, Q equal one, Q equal D. Okay, if you get enable equal zero, and you can D to zero, output still be one. The thing is output will be no chain. So now you can draw that for me. Don't need any formula. If you understand, you can draw it easy. Okay, and also they say initially reset Okay, so I can draw Q at the beginning Okay, I quit Q. One. One. Okay, now you can see. 
scale will be go to one. Okay. And make one. Zero. 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 Make one. One. Continue one. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Zero. Zero. One. Four of D. Zero. One here, right? Right? No. No, sir. That's a zero. Okay, zero. Good. Trick question. One, right? Yes, sir. Then yeah. here. That's how it looks like. Okay, any question? Okay, night. Okay, now, if we're looking into this symbol, you can see you can get two more input here. Preset, PIE, same thing like set, and another one, CLR, mean clear or reset, same thing, okay? So that, uh, they call uh, a, a synchronous input. That means not to input, not depend on anything, on the flip flop or on the latch, okay? What they saying is when P -I -E. e equal zero. Then Q must be one. Must be. No matter what. Okay. And when CLR mean clear A equal zero then Q must be zero. And also they're telling you P I E N CLR cannot be zero at the same time. Never happen. How about PRE and CLR 
one at the same time? Can it be one at the same time? Yeah, that's when Q equals D. Remember, P R E equal zero that Q must be one, no matter what. You don't care anything. And also the same thing, C L R equal zero that Q must be zero. And also they make sure you understand the P I E and the C L R never connect to zero at the same time. That's because if uh, if they're connected at the same time, then pre wants to be one and clear wants to be zero and there's a conflict. Right. This is a true input to control the last or the flip flop. You understand later on, the flip flop will be controlled by the clock, the clock signal. You understand in your computer, <laughs> When you buy the computer, they can, they want to know what the frequency you want. For this, ten, you know, uh, at sixty-four gigabyte or what gigahertz. That means that the master clock inside the computer, everything running, that controlled by that clock. And now. They design and the flip flop. They get a two asynchronous to try to set the Q to be one or zero any time they want, not depend on the clock. Okay. Otherwise, sometimes you want Q to be one at this time. You cannot. The thing is, they depend on the clock signal. That's why any flip flop. They must get those two input we call a preset, and some manufacturing they using set same thing, or clear, okay, or reset, same thing. Sorry, Mr. Fan. What aspect uh, of the of the flip flop uh, can be controlled by the clock? Yeah. Right now, they control by the gate. That means large. However, next they will be on the flip flop. Will be controlled by the clock. Okay. E flip flop or JK flip flop. When they control by the enable or the gate, that means the large. Enable or gate equal to one. In this case, Q equal D. If get equal zero, output Q will be no change. Sometimes they're using get, sometimes they're using enable. They work in the same. So now I want to see how can we draw this one. First thing when you draw it, you must be looking into the preset and clear to see how the connection. First thing, I'm looking on the preset here. They connect to one. What that mean? It means the Q is zero. No, that means they connect to five volt. Yes, that yes. That will be telling you. You didn't see the waveform for the preset. The thing is, they already fit tied to five volt and the clear. And now you see, you get a clear signal here. Okay. So at the beginning, what Q? One. No zero. Zero. You oh. see clear equal zero here, right? Yes. So you don't care what else. Output Q must be. It's because of that second one that you wrote where you got when clear equals zero, then Q equals zero. That must be zero.
if you don't know why in general, okay, let me know. What I'm saying is, at the beginning, clear equal zero. That I know for sure, okay, it must be zero, no matter what. Because clear is an active low, and so is pre. Just looking into the timing. So now the red kill clear equal to one. So we don't worry about clear anymore. Okay, so the next one, what Q equal? Zero. Oh, zero. They must be zero. Why? K is zero. Perfect. Yeah, you understand, man. The thing is, the get zero here, Q will be no jam. So they zero, then they keep zero. And now the gate is one, right? Then Q equal what? D. Q equal D. So just copy D. This is a D right here. Just copy exactly. That's how they look. Equal D. D1, Q1, D0, Q0. So just copy it. How about next one? The gate equals zero, so um, Q, Q does not change. Not change. They zero here. They keep zero. And now up here, get equal one, Q equal D. Copy this guy down. That's it. Okay, so again, make sure you have to download that and how, okay? And try to read it, try to go through over and over until you understand. And make sure you must be doing your assignment for take two and the D lab, okay? Just about not much student upload the D lab. I hope until next week you have to be finished on the D lab one. And we already get a D lab two ready. Mr. Pham, I had a question about the Excel sheet for D lab two. Okay. I will be stop this part here. Okay. We'll be continuing on next meeting. That means you can say next meeting you go to the fifth block, okay? Only JK fifth block and the D fifth block, okay? So not much lecture on the fifth block will be done on the next, next week. Hey, Mr. Pham, Adam got a question on the Excel. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have to stop on this guy. Okay, so whatever you want to ask. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so on the main on the main sheet where the diagram is, if you want to pull it up while I ask you about it, it might make it easier. Or I could I could try to pull it up and share. Um okay. You want to share on your right? Yes, uh, sir. Okay, go ahead. Okay, one second. Uh, 
Okay. So it's just right here. Um, sheet one. Our inputs here are PA2 and PA5. And I just wanted to point out when you switch over to port ABC, it's PA1 and PA5. Going so down. If, will it will it come up correct if I put it in the correct column or will it want me to put it in PA1? What the pin they want? Uh, it says PA2 here on the diagram. Okay, it, then you have to put in the PA2. Okay, it just, you had PA1 highlighted, so I just didn't know oh. if that was, uh, yeah. if it was only going to accept it on that column. Yeah, that PA2. Just do it the, the normal way, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. now you go in the fourth one, I see. Go oh, yeah, to the yeah. one. Okay, go to that two table. Okay, you only get the two table. I I don't think you get a two table, it's the right one. Now PA2. How come you get one one zero zero one one? Going down, Tommy. Yeah, that one, right? I just I started this while I was waiting for class to start. Yeah. Okay. So PA two stuck at the one foot, right? Did I have it wrong? Yeah. You can see. You can see a tummy. They get a one then zero, one then zero, one then zero. You see that? It's like repeat forever. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. So that's why in here, the first thing you have to put one. Then next then, time will be zero. Zero, one, zero, one, zero. Okay. Okay, now. Let's see what I did. Pin number five. Go see pin number five. Right here. Tell me. Okay, five will be yeah, I zero. I it wrong. Then one, one, right? Yeah. Zero foot, then you get a one. Zero one one, one zero zero one one zero zero. Yeah, that put up there. Okay, I see what I did wrong. I read it wrong. I was reading one microsecond at each of these divisions. No, no. That's what I say. I got it. Two Thank column, you. I get one microsecond. Okay. Okay. I see. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Mr. Fam, I got a question when you get finished with everybody unrelated to uh, the digital. What? Um, can I share my screen? Yeah. Okay. And uh, oh, no, hold on. And make sure everyone, you get a problem for the D lab, you can text to me. I can online with you. Try to help you to get it done. You want to asking about MC7? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Okay. Pam, I got yeah. I got this hooked up the way you said I did, but um, it it doesn't give me the right answer. Let me see. It. Okay, this is the one where you put the bypass capacitor in, and uh, the input is at um one k hertz and twenty uh volts peak to peak. Is that volts or, or millivolts? They are they, uh, uh, on the what what the uh, oh maybe maybe that's what it is okay um, it cannot be twenty yeah right 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 okay um let me uh, do this here You have to type it in. It won't go down to 20. Yeah, minutes. exactly. So I got to do enter? No, it's go to the arrow, the the arrow left and right. Oh, hang on. Uh, go, go. Yeah, 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 right here. OK, go, go to the down, uh, go to the right arrow. OK, and then 
Okay, go to the left arrow to uh, type a zero and then the way, where is one type zero. Okay. Yeah, now do uh... zero again. It won't go, it won't go down. It will go down to one only. Okay, so what, what arrow are you talking about? Just use the number on the keyboard. What? You have highlighted it. Now I gotta hit enter and, and put in the number, right? Don't hit enter. Don't hit enter. Don't hit anything. Just go to the arrow and then click it to the zero after the four. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're pointing to the wrong arrow. There you go. Press it, press it once. Press it one more time. Stop. No, no, no. Go back one. Press a two on your keyboard. And then use the arrow, go to the number four. And put zero. Put a zero. There you go. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let me check the, uh, the freight to make sure I got that right. You know what that uh, MD5. Yeah, okay, here we go now. Yeah, here we go. Run it. I'm just gonna run it. And now if I do um well there it is, it's two point seven one volts. I, I got it, Mr. Pam. Hey, uh, I, I forget what's that other guy's name? I forget his name. The one that told me about the arrow. Michael. Michael. Hey, Michael, thanks a lot. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, I see it. Okay, I got it. I can, I can, do, the rest. I can do the rest on my own, Mr. Pam. Thanks a lot. Yeah, before you stop it, what the name of the MD5? This is the, uh, the volts divider. No, this is the MD5. Oh, oh I know, I know what you mean. You're talking about like, uh, Common yeah. emitter. Common emitter. Common, common emitter. emitter. Yeah. Common emitter. Because the output is taken from the base. Right. Common emitter. Common emitter. The output is taken from the base. I thought you get the output to be 180 degrees. Opposite to the yeah. input. Okay. 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 So that's good enough. All right. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, Adam. Thanks a lot to Adam and Mike. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Thanks for doing what I want you to do.